Okay, he's getting the sword. But holding the sword of omens. There we go. Well, hello, Jelly Rocks here. We're looking at a game called Stone Half today. Now, this has just come, I believe it's just come out of early access, and this is now on version 1.0. And this is a game all about building a bit village in a randomly generated terrain. Different uh, biomes, different technologies and workers and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do a new single player game. So this is a story of a brave band of settlers from. So I can choose different uh, kingdoms here. So we've got the Ascendancy who are earnest and hardworking, loyal and well-rounded citizens. Uh, they chop, build, and farm, confident that the world is theirs to inhabit. Ideal for new players. We've also got Reyes Children, which is a desert-based people. Um, hmm. And there's also the Northern Alliance, which is a um, snow-based one. So, as this is the first time... Well, I've played this once before, but we're going to go with the Ascendancy. We're going to go for easy mode. So, this is the... Uh, the Ascendancy tribe have chosen for this one, so now where do we want to put them? So we can do them in Temperate, Desert, or Arctic, so we're going to go for Easy, so we're going Temperate. Nice, and Difficulty. We can have Peaceful, which is Sandbox, we can have Normal, which is... You do get some difficulties, and a bit of raiding, or we get Hard, where face more monsters than Normal. Let's just go with Normal. Okay, Roster. So now we get to choose our people in the uh, the group. So you can do random like this, and you can choose what you want. These are all the traits of what people want. So the this one here makes them well makes them stoic. So it takes them uh, a lot to make them happy or sad. They do have required um, jobs later on. So I am quite interested to see what would be a good one to do. So let's have, try and get one with a high, quite a high body. You've got body six. Animal companion. Hmm. I don't know what any of these do at the moment, so I think we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and go for it for them all. I mean you can you can actually change them all to different names and stuff. You can change the hair colour. Uh let's see. So Jeff Framer, I could give him different sorts of beard, give him a big bushy beard. Uh, can I do the same for you as well? Can you, can you have a big bushy beard as well? Sideburns. Yeah, big bushy beard. Right, so I think that'll do. Let's accept. Okay, so we can choose what we want for um, the rollout thing here. Um, so what's it say here? Food for days. So it looks like... Hmm, th there's three different ones we can go of. So... Food for days is gives a large amount of food into the back of the caravan. Should keep them going for a handful of days. We've got merchant caravan, which is a collection of trade tools. Should give the settlement a leg up in the wilderness. Interesting. Or we can go for money solves all problems. So I just start off with money. Uh, so, hmm. Let's see, what should I go for? So if I start off this one, I can start off with a farmer. If I start off with this one, I can start off with... A footman, a trapper, a hair, but I'm going to go for this one. Let's try this one. Starting season, um, let's start in spring. So then we've got spring, summer, autumn, winter. So we need to choose where we want to start now. So as you can see here, this is like a plains area. That's all water. This is all mountainous. Desert biome there, plains. So that's all different perks of what you start in an area. So if we start over here, we're going to get loads of trees and quite a lot of wildlife, I think. So I think we're going to go for somewhere like this. No, we want... I want wood. What about that? Yeah, let's try that. Settle here. Now, the interesting thing with this um, game is the, the jobs. You need to have the items like a sword to become a guard and the I think it's like a hoe or something for the uh, the farmer. Okay so I get to choose my starting location so this is our new home so if you remember the map earlier we've got water up here we've got plains there uh, loads and loads of trees and we've got mountains that we can dig in hmm I don't know why I would want a plain biome now Maybe we can just dig into that. 
Why not be fun to dig into that near here and then go near the water? I don't know if that would be negative or not. Um, I think we're going to settle around about this area. We've got some resources here. We've got some stone. I don't know what that stuff is. Right. Okay. I'm going to settle here. Nice. Initial supplies. If we're going to get this town off the ground, we'll need wood and lots of it. Chop down nearby trees to get logs. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do that then. So click the harvest menu button. And let's chop some trees down. Click and drag to harvest resources. So if we drag over those. There we go. I'm going to go and chop, chop, chop all these. Got some stuff here already. Berry bush. Nice. Okay. Completed initial supplies. So we've got our logs. Um, we've got wood resources now. Logs and other resources can be used to construct buildings. Okay. We've harvested some wood, and now we need some place to store it. So, let's go and do the store. This is actually quite a nice mode, because the last mode I played um, didn't teach you anything, and I ended up running out of building blocks and all sorts of stuff. Right, so, we need to put a stockpile down. So, let's put it just over here. Okay. And we need user filters to determine what we want to go into it. I think we'll do everything. Okay. Okay, so we're going to drag all the stuff from there to there. Now these shiny, shiny objects, these are the ones for our tasks. So if we pause it a second, press 1. 1, 2, and 3 cycle between the pause modes. Right, we need to promote someone to a um, new role. So let's have a little look. Um, we want to change someone to be a, a carpenter. So let's have a little look and see if we can figure out... Does anyone particularly want to be a, a carpenter? What do you want to be? You're a professor. You're like a jester, jokester. A what? A pluviophile. Uh, you're a carnival animal companion. Crazy. You're a teat professor. You're a storm chaser. Hmm. See, I don't know what is the best job for you. Right, it did want me someone to be a carpenter, so let's go ahead and do give you a carpenter job. Okay, carpenters and other crafters can create various goods to help your settlement, from beds to building materials to weapons. Nice. So we should go over here, get the item. Where is it? Where is the item? I think it's you. You should be the one that's getting the, uh, the item. Are you, are you classed as a carpenter yet? Are you still a worker? Let's pick up the item. There we go. Oh, here we go. Nice. Now you are a carpenter. Right, you do get, do get these messages as well. Oh, set up a workbench. Our carpenter needs a crafting station in order to craft items for the town. Let's make a workbench. And there's also this tutorial uh, introduction text over here as well. Right, we'll follow the tutorial. Okay, now we want to make a bench to work from. So if we click that, and then click the crafting button down here. And what what will happen now is, he's going to go off, the guy I've got selected, and he's going to go and make us a bench. A bench. Just about see him doing it there. Has he made it? There you go, he's made it. Okay, so we need to place it. So we go to place items. And place this carpenter thing. We can rotate it with uh, plus and comma. So we're just going to go and put that down over here. Okay. Let's come out of place. And we should see him go and place it. There we go. I can now click on that and do the various uh, items. Well, I can then craft them to make stuff. Okay, we've got real resources, a place to store goods, and a way to craft items. We're well on our way to getting this settlement off the ground. Okay. Come on. What do you want me to make now? Okay, let's open the uh, letter. A bird messenger. An odd bird arrives with a letter in its beak stamped with the official seal of the Ascendancy. The bird also carries a name tag which reads, Harold. Let's open the letter. Dear Expedition 70, I hope this letter finds you well. By my guess, you're likely setting up camp by now. As your capital liaison, it's my honour to preside remotely over the official founding of your outpost. I trust you've had ample time to choose a name on your journey. Uh, no. 
Uh, as you know, every new settlement must choose a banner. The banner reflects your spirit and vision, uniting factors which bring the expedition together. What future did you foresee when you embarked on your quest for the township? Holding your mind a vision of what the town will be one day, your banner will be set that course, but it's up to you to finish it. Very well, my friends. I eagerly wait, await your reply. Your, yours, Merberly Hands. Okay, so now I need to choose a name. Now you can put your name in here, so we we could call this. Um, what can we call it? Amster Shirley Rocks. Uh, now we get to choose our trait. So if we choose the Vitality one. Trees produce more wood. Plants and crops grow faster. Plants have two times their normal appeal. Banner of strength, which means mining gives us 50% more ore, stone and clay. Or cunning means we're going to be good at trading. Roads gives you three times the normal speed boost. Your items will sell for 50% more. Traders will bring twice the goods and gold. Uh, let's go for strength, I think. Let's strike the earth and get more materials from that. Now, whoa, there it goes. Look at it. Is that gonna go and oh he's just delivering the letter lot I think okay no I think we're found in the uh, the town okay outpost established nice one's having a little party then okay proclamation of outpost and uh, by unanimous agreement to the citizens we declare Amster Shirley rocks to be an outpost on its way Safe haven for all. Okay. Nice. So, we now need to sort of start making stuff. So, let's go to production on this. And see what we can make. So, we can make all different items in here. There's all sorts we can make. So, for instance, I can make wooden swords. And then, once I've made a wooden sword, I can then make a soldier from that. Oh, that bird's back again. Uh, I can make storage, log pile, crate, weaver spindle. Um, I'm trying to think what I need at the moment. And there's all sorts of building parts. So, yeah, and I've got beds and all sorts of stuff. Now, I can do a little bit of mining. So, this is how you do mining. So, you go into this mine tunnel. And you can do control to subtract region. I want to just mine straight into the wall here. So... Let me figure this out. I need to do it there like that. I think that's it. If we put slice on, you can see a little bit easier. So I might have to do it like that there. And you can just basically mine and do little rooms like this if you want. Or you can just you can just mine and just, I could just literally dig a massive big area. You can control your X, Y axis with this. So if I press uh, lower, we're going to mine lower down. But we need to figure out where to dig down now. So I'm currently digging here at the moment. So if I wanted to dig a little bit down here, I could I could dig it down a little bit and make like a little slope, I guess. Let's have a little... Can we do it there? Yeah, I think that's dug down a little bit. Go down a little bit deeper. So we want we want to be on the same axis as that down there. So let's go right down and dig a little bit down here, just to show you how you can do it. You can place ladders and stuff as well. So if you see these at the moment, these are all just digging away. As they dig in, they're getting resources. So we're getting stone, that is clay, and they're just going to keep on doing that. You can turn x-ray mode off, see for the train, so you can see them doing that. Whoa. Okay, let's put slice back on. That seems to be the easiest one for this. Now you can speed at the time as well, so this is three, three speed. So hopefully you're going to see these starting to dig a little bit down. What was that noise? Uh, we've not got any hostiles yet, I believe, so we should be okay. Let's go and get some more, a little bit of wood. We can harvest other stuff as well, like stone, harvest that. And there is some shrubbery. Right, there you go. What is that? Wild silkweed. It can be spun into a thread. Nice. They're all off doing mining now. A little bit of uh, stone masonry going on there. 
So you can see, look, we are we are building down here now. That's pretty. It's pretty messy at the moment, right? And the interesting interesting thing with it, about this with buildings is, you can actually design your own buildings yourself, or you've got some templates in here. So I want to do some. Let's do a, a cottage for two. Now the interesting thing with this is, watch this. So if we build that cottage there, do build. Now that will actually plan the whole building for you. So you can see it's a basic building. It's got a light in the wall. It's got a little hole there. And it's got our beds here. We take the slice off. You can see what it looks like now and what it looks like in a bit. So currently doing all the ground foundations on it. And hopefully this should work now. So if we go into the queue for this... All the stuff we need to build that building automatically gets queued up, which is really good. So these are all going to build this. You can see we've put the uh, ground structure down. And these are going to get busy building that. Well, hopefully the worker carpenter carries on building all that stuff. Right, now we're going to need some food. So let's get a, a worker helping out. Let's see. I want a farmer. I don't think we've got the farming tree just yet. You do need to... If we craft a carpenter's uh, a hoe, we should be able to do it. Because we've got a trapper. What does a trapper do, though? Snares, captures, and harvest small critters. We could get one of those, I guess. Let's get one of those at the start. And also queue... Go into this. We're going to queue... A, we want a hoe. Right, so we can't make a hoe yet because we need to be level 2. So we do need to advance a little bit. But hopefully after this person's finished doing all this uh, building of all the items for this, he's going to advance enough that I can do the next level. Right, now where is my trapper gone? We've got herbalist staff there. We've got wooden sword there. We must have the trapper then. Let's have a look at the jobs. Where is he? He's over here. Oh, he's just capturing there. Uh, well, he's just uh, hauling all the stuff at the moment. Maybe we need to actually find the items. Well, the things to harvest. Ooh, what are they? Sugar bowl. Nope, we need animals. I literally can't see any animals at the moment. Okay. We'll just leave these to get on with this. Get this house built. And speed it up a little bit. Now, we have got two other jobs we could do there. We've got the wooden sword and we've got the herbalist staff. Now, I believe the herbalist actually is... So, what do they do? Heal units with balms and bandages. Uh, or we could have a footman. Let's get a footman, I think. Just we've got a bit of, bit of defense. There we go. Nice. So, we've got a level one footman. Hopefully he's going to help out the other tasks as well. I think he's just patrolling at the moment. Okay, so he's not going to do anything. Right. Now, I've never had anyone new join the village, but you must be able to get new people. I'm just going to build our little home up here. Make sure we've got enough uh, materials. Looks like we've got plenty of wood there. So we need lots of beds. Now, I could really just do beds in this area up here, I guess. Have a look at the updates. Okay. Woohoo, yeah, we're really low on food. We really do need to get some uh, food. Now let's have a little, let's pause this a second. Just want to see if the carpenter is level two yet. No, nope. he's getting there. You can actually watch this rise now. So if you see removing ladder, building, he's not actually building anything at the moment, but we can force him to build something by just doing another building. So, we could do shared sleeping quarters or a tiny cottage or let's do a dining hall. Okay. We can rotate this round wherever we want. So, I think that house is that way around. Let's do the dining hall over here. And do the entrance there. Okay. So, this is going to keep the carpenter busy now. And hopefully, he's going to make enough uh, stuff to build the... Um, the hoe, because I've got, like, no food. 
did not think about doing that bit. Okay, they're still busy building with that one. Okay, a few resources are getting carried there now. Let's come out of that. Oh, you know what we didn't do? Yeah, I forgot about that. That's that's when you build the buildings. Uh, you, you can you can you can pause it or unpause it. I don't think I've selected build then. I think you can pause the building. Let's have a little look. Can we click on that and pause it? Yeah, we can. Um, I think there's enough stuff to build this one though, so I don't really want to pause it. Let's let that carry on. As you can see, there's a lot to build. But we want to get this carpenter skilled up, so let's have a little look. Um, we want him on level 2. Let's do this so we can see him go in there. Watch the uh, skill bar here. So you can see he's making wooden wall mounts at the moment. And his skill is going up, slowly but surely. We just need to be... I think it's basically build one more thing, and then we can make... Uh, I think we need a farmer. Okay, there we go. He's dinged, he's leveled up. Right. Let's go to this. And craft. And it's the farmer's thing I need. Farmer's hoe. So if we... I want to craft this. I want to craft one. So you can do standing orders. You can make number of items or maintain inventory. I want to make this. And I want to make this first. So if we drag that up like that. That will do it first. Okay, if we unpause now, hopefully we're going to get this homemade. Okay, here we go. Let's make this hoe, and then we can get some farming done. Because we must be <laughs> running pretty low on food. We have got some berries there, but that's not a lot. Right, okay, let's make someone into the farmer. Um... I don't really need... I might change your job, you know. Yeah, let's make you a farmer for now. And hopefully we don't use the uh, the weapon. Let's have a little look. Where's the soldier gone? Where was he? He was patrolling. I think he was up top of the building. There we go. He's going to go and grab this now and become a farmer. Nice. Right. So we can do farming spaces now. We can do a little area over here. Let's do a, say, 7x7 seven seven for that. And we'll have turnips in that one. We'll do another 7x7. Seven seven, and we'll have carrots in that. And let's do a big old patch of pumpkins in this last one. Okay. Now, one thing I did notice then was we've actually got a thing here, trapping. Maybe I need to do a trapping thing. Let's stick a trap down. Did we place that down? Hmm. I don't know if he's placed that or not. Okay. Farm's going to place this anyway. Tills all the ground. Gets the... Uh, seeds planted and then we're going to start growing turnips, carrots and me was it melons? No, pumpkins. Okay. We've got a trader coming. Okay, nearly got this first one done. There we go. Seeds going down. Okay. So we've got a trader coming. I wonder if we'll see them come in. Where is the trader? not you, is it? You're an idle worker. Why, why are you just hanging around up there? Okay, as you can see, so the carpenter's busy. He's building all this stuff. He appears to be stuck. I don't know why he's just stood there. Hmm. Right. Let's keep an eye on the trapper and see if the trapper actually does go and do any trapping. It doesn't appear to be. I, I literally can't see any mon any um, animals though. Maybe, maybe I have to. Do I have to craft the traps? 
Let's see. Can we craft traps? Um, oh, we can do wooden shields. Building parts, furniture. No, I guess not. I thought maybe we could uh, craft a trap. Okay. Everyone is sleeping now. So we've got a half finished uh, house for two and we've got an eating hall that needs to be finished. It's going to take a while to build anything in this. Hopefully we've got enough food though to last us with all this stuff over here. We've got a little bit of gold, you can see there as well. 20 gold coins. So it will take a while to build up this little uh, this little base. I mean, we can go in here as well into the town info and see our inventory to check out what we've got. Uh, I'm just curious to see our resources. Yeah, we have got some wood. We could do with more though. And this farm. Come on. Come on. Get that ploughed. There you go. Get the seeds down now. Go and get the seeds. There we go. No, no, you're not. You're eating. I think that one is stuck. Right, let's have a look at you. Jeff Framer. Let's see if we can change your uh, job. You seem to be stuck doing nothing. Let's make you into a soldier. And see if that makes you move. Because you appear to be stuck on top of a ladder. Come to think of it, I think a couple of them seem to be uh, a little bit stuck at the moment. What are they doing? Just hanging around, doing nothing at the moment, apparently. Okay, maybe I can go into the building design and pause the uh, building on this one. Let's see if we can come out of that, pause it. Is that going to... Nah, that's not making anyone help. They just seem to be stuck there. Right, hopefully the farm's going to help out with the building as well then in a second. We're a bit, uh, bit stuck at the moment. Oh, nice. Raining, though. There you go. You're carrying on building that. So they do build it up in, like, in layers. So you can see he's putting the roof up at the moment. You can see the projected bit there. There you go. I've got a feeling I'm going to need more wood. Um, let's go and harvest a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, so I've got them two are actually just stuck in that thing. I'm hoping when this one gets finished, it's going to run over there and help finish that one off. Maybe they're, they're like stuck because they've, they look like they've built ladders up but not quite high enough. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I'm going to change your worker to... Well, you're on a work... You are actually on a worker job. There's got to be some job I can give you that's going to make you get up from there. Literally, there isn't... No, they're just... They're both just, both just stuck there. I have had that happen a few times to me. It is, it is annoying when it does it. There's no really explanation why they do it. It's just a little bit of a bug, I guess. Okay, hopefully we're going to get this... This building finished soon. Come on. A little bit more of the roof to do. Come on. Build that roof. Might want to fill the middle bit in as well. There we go. Yeah, a roof of holes in like that is definitely not good. Okay, I think you can click on this as well and see what's left. So there's six, five things left to put in this. Looks like they're filling it up now. It should be nearly done then. And then you can uh, get on with the other building. There we go. We we'll finally finished building that one. So hopefully we can click on this. Click on this. Click resume. Okay. We're in trouble. We've got invaders approaching. So let's change the role of the trapper, who is that one. Let's change your job to a soldier or a footman because we've got some invaders coming. 
Okay, he's getting the sword. Beholding the sword of omens. There we go. And we have got invaders, so if we click on combat, click on fight and defend, which basically puts all your um, people into self-preservation mode where they all gather around here. So, if we unpause there, well, if we pause this, here we go. So we've got, what are these? Entlings. We've got Entlings attacking me. Okay. There's a few of them left. Come on, soldier. Do your job. I'm not fighting with a full complement because of you. One of them's moved. Nice. I think we are safe. Click that again. Everyone goes off to carry on doing what they were doing. Which is hopefully building. Come on. I need to finish this. I want to see if you get fixed. So we're going to keep keep on recording this until we see if you get recovered. So he's got no food at the moment though, which is definitely a pain. Right, turnips are uh, getting harvested now. I could really do to uh, change the uh, soldier's role to a healer, I think, as well. Let's, uh, let's just keep changing the uh, roles to suit what we're doing at the moment, so... Make you a healer. There you go. Now, are you going to go around and heal people up? I hope so. You're actually just harvesting crops at the moment. There you go. Get them delicious turnips in there. Okay. I do believe the other character is... Yes, look. So they've built up the thing now and they are fixed. He, he's just stuffing his face with turnips. Nice. We click on that. Can we see inside the house? Oh yeah, you can see. We've got a little thing of two there. Now you can interact with the traders by clicking on that. As you can see, I've got like literally no money at the moment, I don't think. Uh, I've got 20 gold, so I could buy a bolt of cloth. Uh, no, let's not. But anyway. That's all I'm going to show you for now. So this is Stonehearth 1.0. So yeah, let me know what you think of this in the comments below. And if you do want to see some more of this, I might show you some more of this on the channel. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Shirley Rock signing off.